Hi everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'd like to go over a topic that's a little taboo, but it's going to help you become a better technician and probably save you a lot of money. And that is using needles to help you do your job. Now you can see here that I use a variety of different gauges and sizes of needles, but I use a variety for a reason because there's various tasks that you're going to use them. Now this is a foam block that sits here around my workbench and you can see I've got a variety of needles in them from really long ones to really short ones and there are a variety of gauges so some of them are going to be very very small and some of them are going to be really large diameter and the reason for that is because there are a variety of plugs that you can repair using different gauge of needles. If you have bent over pins, some people will use a flat blade screwdriver, some people will use a knife or something like that to try and get in there and straighten out the pins and they'll often break them off. The reason they break them off is because they have no tactile response to how much force they're applying to the pin. And by using a needle, like this guy here, I can just insert it over the pin and now by tweaking this left or right I can bend the pin. So I just eyeball it and see if the pin is straight, pop it over to the next one and then tweak it until it's straight. You can see one major difference between my needles and regular needles that you'll find in the field. Each one of my needles is marked by a piece of yellow shrink tube. Now this is a very important thing because in biomed work you'll find needles randomly all over the place and the last thing you want to do is take a chance at using a non-sterile needle to do a repair. The chance of you pricking your finger is actually pretty good so you have to be cognizant of sharps. You can see here I have a razor blade. I have it marked where it goes in my foam block. And when I'm done with it, it goes immediately back in the foam block. I've got all sorts of needles and every single needle that's in here I opened up myself from its sterile container. I immediately marked it with yellow shrink tube and it goes into my sharps pack here. One of the other reasons to use needles is to help you with your troubleshooting. It's a non-invasive way of testing voltages inside wires that you normally don't want to break the insulation on. And what you'll do is you'll take one of these really fine needles and you'll stick it into the sheathing and then I take one of my gator clips that's hooked up to my multimeter lead and I'll clip it on the needle. And if you want to test continuity, you shove another needle further down the wire that's being tested and you'll see if you have continuity or not. But when you're done, you disconnect your gator lead, pull out your needle, you have almost no damage whatsoever to your outer insulation. In some of my other videos, I've used this technique to analyze power supplies and wires that go to and from other circuit boards. That way there, I don't ruin the insulation that connects between boards. One point of note is that when you have different diameter of pins, always use the diameter needle that's closest to the pin. The reason being, if there's a lot of slop on the pin, you don't have that tactile response and you can just as easily over bend the pin and permanently damage it. So you can see here, it barely fits over the pin. I would use this needle to help straighten out that pin. This gauge right here is more closely to these pins. I would use this gauge needle for this diameter pin. So that's it guys. I keep needles by my bench and it helps me do my job better. This pad here will be sitting over in the back of my workbench or it will be sitting in a drawer and all my needles are marked. If you're going to use needles to help you do your job better, be safe about it. 
Don't just throw them on a desktop. As soon as you're done with the needle, it goes into a foam pad and the foam pad gets placed away as soon as you're done with it. So that's today's pro tip. You can use needles to help you do your job better. Just be safe about it. If you liked the video, give me a big old fat thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. I've got lots of interesting videos I'll be producing over the next few weeks.